Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this awesome sliding interactive menu directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, the first thing we'll do is start from a blank presentation. So we'll go to home and choose blank presentation. We can now right click on this, go to layout and choose blank. Now let's add the panels. To do that, we're going to go to rectangle, click anywhere. I'm going to set this to 6.77 width. Align it to the top and left. And then drag this down until it's the full height of the screen. It will snap into place. I'm going to set the shape outline to no outline. Then go to shape effects, shadow, shadow options. I'm going to select the first preset, then make a couple of adjustments. I'm going to set this to 10% blur and 0 degrees angle. Now we can add our circle. And to do that, we click on oval, click anywhere on this panel. I'm going to go to the line settings and choose three point and make it white. I also want a shadow on here. So I can go to this option, choose the first preset, then adjust as I want. You can set this to anything you think looks good. I'm going to choose 80% transparency. I'm using tab just to move through them. And also I'm going to choose 90 degrees angle and two distance. I also want this to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to type in 2.1 by 2.1. Now I can drag this into position and add the text inside. If I type one, as I've got it selected, it will add it in. And I'm going to make this fig tree 44 point and bold. Now I can add the section title underneath. So we'll click on text box, click and drag. We can resize it in a minute and type in the word we want here. I'm going to make this fig tree as well, this time 28 point and white. I also want this to be bold and we can click and drag this out so it doesn't wrap. I can pick up the text marketing and align it with the circle above. And I'm quickly going to paste in the text underneath to save time. So there's our first part of the menu. We're now quickly going to copy that over to the other four and then color it. And then we can add the animation. So control and the mouse wheel to zoom out a bit. Click here, drag across the whole lot while the mouse is down and everything will be selected. And then control D to duplicate. We then want to drag this into the exact position, which is here. Let go and press control D, control D, control D. That looks good, but I want these ones to be on the top so that the shadow overlays the others. And to do that, we want to make sure that we select all of these and then say bring to front and then do the same on the other three. That's looking good. We can now quickly make the color changes. And I'm going to paste in the colors that I want there. And you can make these any colors you think looks good. I'm now going to use the eyedropper tool to pick the colors that I've chosen before from above. And on the number circle, I can simply select no fill so you can see through to that color. I'm going to select all of these by holding down shift and clicking on them subsequently and then selecting no fill. Now we'll just finally color the other three. We can now delete these. So there's our design for this interactive sliding menu. I'm going to update the numbers and the words. Quickly updating the text below. And there we have our updated design for our menu, ready to add the animation. Now, when our slide sorter is opened on the left, we can control D to duplicate, control and the mouse wheel to zoom out a bit. And for this one, which is going to be marketing, I'm going to make these four move off to the right hand side of the screen. To do that, we can pick them all up, hold down shift and drag. 
and I want to use a type of concertina effect where they gradually move across each other and expand and compress as they go across. And to do that, we can make sure it's all selected, hold down shift and just drag slightly across. Then we go to transitions, make sure morph is on and you'll see how that works, which is a really nice effect. I'm going to set the duration of all of these to 1.5 seconds. And now for the marketing one, we can click, drag this across, increase this text size. I'm going to use 54 point, drag this across. We can pick these up and put them where we want. I'm going to put them about there, move this text down slightly. Then I'm going to paste in the expanded text, which is this, and paste in an image I found earlier. You can add any image you want to this. And then I want to add a back button. For that, I'm going to go up to a rounded corner rectangle, click to add it anywhere, drag it out. We can adjust it in a minute. I'm going to set this to fig tree, 16 point, fill it with white, with no outline, and I want the text color to be the same as the background. So make sure the text is selected and then click there. I also want this to be a fully rounded corner rectangle. So we can click on this little yellow dot and drag to the right and then size this up however we want. I'm also going to align it. Then if I right click on this, choose link, I can choose place in this document, select slide one and click OK. So now, if we play from the slide one and advance to slide two, we can use this back button to go back to this slide. So there are two things we need to do now just to make this work perfectly. And the one is we can set transitions to morph on slide one as well and set that to 1.5 as well. And also I don't want this to be as far off the page here just because when it goes to it, it currently leaves a small white area. So if I just pick up all of these, hold down shift and drag them so they're touching the end. Now, when we play from slide one and advance slide two, that's a really nice effect. And we can click to go back. And lastly, we need to put a link in on this page that will jump to the second page. At the moment, I was just pressing the advance button, but when we have the full menu, we want a link from each one of these panels. And the best way to do that is these are all separate parts. Here we have two text items and the circle and the panel. It's just to draw a shape over all of these. So I'll click rectangle, draw this rectangle out here. And I want this to have no outline and no fill. Effectively invisible, but I can use it just as a single box that will link to the second page. So I right click, choose link, place in this document, select the slide I want, and then OK. I'll quickly show you how to make the second one, and then you'll be able to make this interactive sliding menu at any point with any presentation. So firstly, we'll duplicate slide one again, Control D, and drag it to slide three. This time, I'm going to move this one off to the left, and the others off to the right. Again, selecting them, holding down Shift to lock the Y position and adjust these if you want this concertina effect. Then I can expand this to the left and to the right. I can change this to 54 point. To help you position these, you can select both of them, cut them with control X, go to slide one and paste them in. And then you can simply just drag this until they snap and then cut them again and paste them back into slide three. You can do the same for this. Then everything's in the same place. Just by dragging it into position, it will snap. Then you can control X to cut it and control V to paste it there. I'll quickly paste in my text, adjust this to the size I want, paste in the image I'm going to use. I can copy the back button from slide two then I just need to go to slide one and make sure that this will link to the sales slide when I click on it. And to do that, I can take this invisible rectangle that was over the marketing section. I'll just press Control Z to put that back. 
and I can hold down Control and Shift, click on it and drag it across to the sales section, then right click and edit link, and I can click slide three and OK. Now when we run from slide one, I can click on this, it will jump into the sales section and I can hit back. And then if I want marketing, I can click on that and jump into the marketing section. A really nice way of making some interactive slides. There was just one more thing that I wanted to do, and that is to move this across so there's no gap, and that will stop the white gaps from appearing. So if I now run that, I can click on sales too, and it's a really nice smooth way of interacting with your slides. Using slides like this can help build audience engagement when you're making your presentation. You can ask your team, do you want to look at the sales or marketing first and then click and then go directly into it, which is a really nice way of making a presentation. And if you'd like to download any of the source files for any of these tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you want to become a PowerPoint expert and make stunning slides, then watch the next video or take one of my courses, which are available on a free trial with Skillshare in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, press subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.